Hello everyone, this is Vasant awesome, in Aim Pointer at IIT Bombay from the Department of Civil Engineering. In this video, we are going to solve a problem on bouncing shear and bearing stress. Let us move to the problem. This is the problem over here. First, let us understand the structure. This is a strut. The shape of the, the dimensions, shape of the truss is like this. The angle is given. Theta is equal to 40 degrees. And these are gusset plates. This strut is fixed to gusset plates with the help of a pin. This is the pin. And these, this is base plate. And on the base plate, there are anchor blow, bolts. Okay, These are anchor bolts. So if you see the top view from this side, we'll it will look like this. This is the pin. Pin is this one. This one is the pin. And if you see over here, the cross-sectional shape of the strut is like this. Okay. And these are the gusset plates. So let us move to the question. And it is a load P is acting compressive load P. So bearing stress between strut and pin. Where is strut? Strut is this one. This is strut. And this is pin. So we need to find out bearing stress between strut and pin. We already said that bearing stress will exist in the case where two types of bodies will get into contact. Right? So this load P, this load P, this load P will get transferred to this pin. Right? Pin over here. So the, if you see the contacts where there is contact here one contact is here another contact is here right so there are two contacts if you draw the diagram the, uh, the contact this is the pin the contacts will be like this right On this actually load B is coming. So this load B will transfer to this pin. Here some F. Here some F. So on pin. The load will be compressive. It will be F. F. Right. So this F plus F should be is equals to P. So this F is equals to P by 2. Right. So. And what is the uh, contact area? Here is the contact, right? So the contact area will be, if you observe, see from this, a pole is made, from that pole, pin is passed, right? So if you see, this is T, and this will be diameter D. So the area projectional projection of contact area will be is equal to T of start into D P, right? Because the area is like this actually. Okay. This is width T. This is diameter D. This is the projection. So if you take consider one sigma bearing will be P by 2 divided by T into D P, right? That will be is equal to P by 2 D into D D P. See, you, you can also say that sigma B is equal to total force T is acting on the pin and it is acting over the contact area 2 T D pin because there are two contacts. Here one contact, here one contact, here the area is T D pin. Here the area is TDP. So total force is total force is P and total area is 2DP. 2T into DP. So you can say that uh, in that way also. Sigma B bearing stress. Now what is bearing stress between pin and gusset? So see now the contact is between this gusset plate. This is gusset plate. And this pin. Okay. So suppose this is the thickness of 
P plus F. Okay. Then what will be the contact area? That that is the first question. See if you see the diagram, it will be something like this. This is a this is the gusset plate, and there will be some hole from which the pin will pass. So it will pass up to here. So the contact area will be this thing. So this width is P gusset plate T G, and this is diameter of pin B P, right? So the projection, the projection of this cross sec, this contact area, the projection of this contact area. This is T, and this is B P. The projection of this, it will be something like this, right? You see, it will be something like this. So this will be thickness of the gusset plate, and this dia, this dia will be, this dia will be diameter of the pin. So the projection of that thing, the projection of that thing will be a rectangle. With D pin and gusset P G, but if you observe here also there is two gusset plates. So see, let's take the free body diagram. This will be pin. This will be F. This will be F. That F will be equal to P by two, P by two, and from gusset plate from here you will get some compression force at F G, F G. So that will be also symmetric case. So it should be also is equal to p by two. So again, the bearing stress sigma b will be is equal to f g divided by what is that t gusset plate into d p. Okay, that will be is equal to p divided by two g into d p. I think you understand this. Okay. Now shear stress in pin. Where is the pin? Pin is here. What is the shear stress in pin? That will be is equal to. That will be shear stress tau will be is equal to F divided by A. So that will be is equal to what is F? F is P by two divided by A is cross section area pi by four d square p. Okay. So that will be is equal to two t divided by pi d square p. Shear stress is simple. So now shear stress in anchor bolts. Where are anchor bolts? Anchor bolts are here. So if you consider pole structure, if you consider pole structure, this is something like this strut and blah 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 over here and one gusset plate, one pin, and then there is this right. If you remove bolts here, will be like this right. The force on this will be like this P, and this is theta. So this, if you resolve, it will be P cos theta, and this will be. P sine theta. So see, this P cos theta is resisted by these four bolts in shear, right? So these this is a symmetrical structure. So four bolts, four into P. In suppose this is a uh, Y, this is X. So X will be is equal to P cos theta, right? So P X. Will be is equal to p cos theta divided by four. So what is the shear stress in anchor bolts? That will be tau is equal to t x divided by area. That will be is equal to p cos theta divided by four into pi by four into d anchor bolts whole square. Right? That will be is equal to p cos theta divided by Pi into d pin, sorry, d anchor bolts square. Do you understand this? Shear stress in anchor bolts. So let us move forward. Bearing stress between anchor bolts and base base plate. So these, this is the base plate. Sorry, this is the base plate, and these are the anchor bolts, right? The contact will be here. So if you consider the contact area, how much will be the contact area? This will be thickness of the base plate. This is D anchor bolts. Now sigma B will be P X divided by A. So what is P X? P X is P cos theta divided by four. So what is area? That is T base plate. Into D. 
This is projection area. So sigma b bearing stress between anchor bolts and base plate is t cos theta divided by 4 t base into d into a. So this is bearing stress between anchor bolts and base plate. So now we solved four questions, five parts of this question. I think now uh, we got clear understanding what what is a bolt in shear and what a bearing stress means, right? With this, we end today's lecture. Next lecture, we are going to solve a few couple of problems on this topic. Until then, take care. Bye bye from Nine Point. Thank you.